Nine is one of the dramatic par fours in all of golf with a huge elevation change from the top of the hill. It's only 245, but the farther you drive it, the fairway drops away from you from left to right. You drive it down the hill, you have a downhill side hill shot to a green hard against the cliff. On the tee is Ian. So again, updating you on our story here at the U.S. Open. In tough, windy conditions, Tom Kite, the Texan, the only competitor now under par. He is at four under through eight. And a reminder, the next Sunday here on ABC, the race for the IndyCar Championship continues. Points leader Bobby Rahal and defending champ Michael Andretti lead the pack of world-class drivers. They'll be on the track outside of Milwaukee, the Miller Genuine Draft 200 Live next Sunday on ABC. Just to put an exclamation point on the problems as uh, Sluman is putting for par here on the 12th, an exclamation point on the problems they're encountering. Davis Love right now is 11 over par for the tournament. Go. Nice save by Sluman. And of course, for those of you who weren't with us earlier, there will be no Grand Slam champion in golf this year. Freddie Couples finished six over, shot a 74 today, was one of the earlier finishers. Now here's Tom Kite for par nine. Well, this putt's for a par, but I'm sure Tom would be plenty happy with bogey right now. He's got nearly 30 feet. The putt is straight down grain, but it's actually going back into the wind. It's going to be tough to judge the speed on this one. And that wind just held it up. It was like it was dragging an anchor along that green. Now, this one will require some nerve on it, Mark. As we take a look at Hallberg, he has a double bogey here at 10. Well, no nothing is a given today. And Montgomery passes another competitor. They have all fallen away from Colin Montgomery, except Morgan Sluman and, of course, our leader, Kite, who's going to give back one. This is truly an amazing story developing here with Colin Montgomery in early. I think more incredibly is the fact that Kite has never won a major. Always something or someone has stood in his way. Well, if he's going to win one, Steve, I'll tell you one thing. He's got the toughest conditions for the last nine holes he's ever seen. But Tom's a gutty competitor. Always has been a gutty competitor. He's, uh, he stays right in there and works at it hard. He's got the short game to handle uh, the conditions that, that uh, are going to present themselves. And, of course, that's what you're going to have to have is a short game because you're not going to knock it on the greens. Kind of a bulldog tenacity. You know, here's the all-time leading money winner in golf. Tom Kite has not one putted, or two putted, excuse me, a green today. He's had all one putts, a three putt at number four. But he'd love to have a two putt here. It's a great five. The lead is three. Well, Sluman steps away from the cliffs, and he's at 13. He's even par, remember. He has 125 yards. I tell you what, don't count this little gutty player out. He has made three fantastic pars on the last three holes, and he's striking the ball well. Well, Jerry, he knows what it is to win a major. He's done that. He's taking a wedge. Right. That's a good-looking shot there. Shot. Come on. 
bounced it nicely on. Now Morgan at nine. Gill is at a perfect drive right down the center of the fairway. That's 209 yards into the hole. Sometimes you play that ball to come back. Jerry Pate and I were talking about this. You send it out over those cliffs and something happens to that wind down over the beach and sometimes it just doesn't blow the ball back to the left. Well, there's a vortex that comes up from that cliff. Rossi, I don't think you want to hang it out over it today. Well, that's a terrific shot for Morgan. Kite at the 10th tee. Walking up to this tee, Tom gave me a little smile and said, some bogeys are better than other ones, aren't they? This tee shot's headed left at 10, though. And into the deep stuff. It's the, in the deep grass above the bunker. So as we go from the furthest part of this course, which goes outward, we come to 18, and here's the golfer who was the people's choice here this week, Andy Dillard. One time down at his club in Oak Tree, they bet him he couldn't swim the lake by the 18th hole in 35 seconds. And he said it was much easier coming here and battling the windy conditions. He had a wonderful tournament, winding up plus six. The crowds loved him. Jack Nicholas first saw Pebble Beach in 1961 when he played here in the U.S. Amateur Championship. Talk about a prodigy. Jack wasn't just supposed to win. He was supposed to win decisively, and he did. The scores of his last two matches were 9 and 8, then 8 and 6 as he wrapped up a second national amateur title. It was Jack's swan song as an amateur. Jack Nicholas turned pro that fall. On Saturday, July 11th, ABC begins live weekend coverage of another classic event. Defending champion Jack Nicholas and the legends of the game, Lee Trevino, Chichi Rodriguez, and Arnold Palmer take center stage in the U.S. Senior Open Golf Championship July 11th on ABC. While we're away, here's Ian Woosnam. He's four back at the leader, Tom Kite, right now. Birdie attempt at 13 for Sluman. so hard now it's really hard to stand up. Rossi it's like Stu Miller trying to throw a pitch in an all-star game a candlestick right now. Well he's got a low center of gravity that should help. So did Miller. Have they told you how strong the wind is? No. Before that is Morgan's third. He's trying to putt it from off the fringe, and I'll tell you, it's a pretty risky shot. He's probably wondering why he didn't become an optometrist full time. Sluman tapping in. It's 13, so he's. Even par along with 
Morgan Montgomery, who's in the clubhouse watching the activity. Kite, who's three under. He's drawn another pretty good lie in the left hand rough here and pitched it down just in front of the green. It's a good, smart play. Special after hit it and hazard at nine. Morgan at nine. There's a fine line between challenging the best players in the game and embarrassing them. I'm not sure the scales have been tipped the other way today. Brooks, second attempt. It's down the cliff. Hallberg moments ago, now Brooks. Now Morgan. So now Montgomery gains on another one. He's even with Sluman and trails only Kite. Putting his feet up on an easy chair, sitting back and watching them all tumble down. We'll return with more after this message and a word from our ABC stations. High above this majestic scene, the newly painted and renamed Airship Eagle from Carson, California has been providing these scenic pictures of Pebble Beach from the Goodyear Blimp. It's been one for the ages at the U.S. Open on this final Sunday. A record of a different sort was established yesterday when Gil Morgan became the first competitor ever in an Open to reach 10 strokes under par. He moved to 12. Now, he has moved to the tee at 10. He is plus one for the tournament. shot here at number 10. He was the first player on tour to carry three wedges. He kept his own stats long before it became fashionable to do so. And out of that stat keeping, he recognized he needed a third wedge in his bag. Now we'll see on the 10th tee. on the green. This is for bogey. Mark Brooks, normally one of the best putters on the tour, having all sorts of trouble with these greens right now. Well, it began with a four putt at three, Mark. This putt is only four feet, but it's very fast. Meanwhile, back in the press room, this is live, Colin Montgomery. I've only played, Montgomery in, I've only played in, three, in even par. Two British Opens, and this is uh, four, sorry, uh, two British Opens and a Masters, and uh, this is my first US Open, so now I haven't been in this position uh, st starting out and going forward. Any kind of a tournament at all? Oh, any kind of a tournament. Uh, I don't think so, no. No, I haven't He's come three from this position. three out of the lead, and here is Kite putting to save par and maintain that advantage.
Tom Kite stays at three under. On the front side, Kite hit only two greens and shot a 36. He's been scrambling all day long. That's what it'll take, a gutty performance the rest of the way. They will certainly test his nerve from now on.